She doesn't need to know just my imagination. Family and friends, we are gathered here for a truly wonderful event. We are here to celebrate the rites of matrimony with Ira and Deanne. Who gives Deanne's hand in marriage? Her mother and I. Marriage is one institution that has stood the test of time for many centuries and will endure for many more. The Bible tells us that marriage is an institution of divine appointment. It is commended as an honorable institution among all people and all faiths. However, it is the most important step in anyone's life and is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but discreetly, soberly, and with much thought. To all their guests, they are happy to share this moment with you. They have known most of you for several years. You watched them grow up. You went to school with them or you worked with them. 
because you are the ones who have supported them and known them so well, it is only fitting that you are the ones to share this once-in-a-lifetime moment with them. A marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others, and it is entered into with the desire and hope that it will last for life. If it is your choice to proceed, please join your hands and face each other. Okay. <laughs> when I tell you. So. Ira, do you, sir, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, and do you promise before these witnesses to love her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, so long as you both shall live? I do. Deanne, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, and do you promise before these witnesses that you will love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others all the days of your lives? I do. Ira, address your bride with these words. I, Ira. I, Ira. Take you, Deanne. Take you, Deanne. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will share my life with yours. I will share my life with yours. <laughs> Build our dreams together. Build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble. Support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you. I promise to give you. Respect, love, and loyalty. Respect, love, and loyalty. Through all the trials and triumphs. Through all the trials and triumphs. Of our lives together. Of our lives together. This commitment is made in love. This commitment is made in love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And made new every day of our lives. And made new every day of our lives. Deanne, please repeat after me. I, Deanne. I, Deanne. Take you, Ira. Take you, Ira. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will share my life with yours. I will share my life with yours. Build our dreams together. Build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble. Support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you. I promise to give you. Respect, love, and loyalty. Respect, love, and loyalty. Through all the trials and triumphs. Through all the trials and triumphs. Of our lives together. Of our lives together. This commitment is made in love. This commitment is made in love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And made new every day of our lives. And made new every day of our lives. The rings, please. Ira and Deanne, these rings mean many things to many people, and they get exchanged for many different reasons. However, there is a very special significance to these rings. The shape of the wedding rings is a complete and unbroken circle. It signifies a never-ending devotion to each other and is a symbol of your inward spiritual grace. While these rings are a gift of your love and respect for each other, they are a visible symbol to the rest of the world that you two belong together and have in fact made a commitment to remain together for the rest of your lives. Ira, place the rings on your bride's finger and address her with these words. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is also forever. Deanne, place this ring on your groom's finger. <coughs> that way it'll never come. Okay. And address him with these words. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is also forever. The coins, please. By exchanging these coins, they are essentially saying, what's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. 
The 13 coins also represent different values that the couple desire to share between themselves. Love, harmony, cooperation, commitment, peace, happiness, trust, respect, caring, wisdom, joy, wholeness, and nurturing. Ira, repeat after me. I give you these coins as a pledge of my dedication to you. I give you these coins as a pledge of my dedication to you. The care of our home and the welfare of our children. The care of our home and the welfare of our children. Accept these coins as a pledge of my total dedication. Accept these coins as a pledge of my total dedication. And constant concern for your welfare. And constant concern for your welfare. Take these coins as a pledge of our commitment to share. Take these coins as a pledge of our commitment to share. Deanne, re Dean, repeat after me. I accept and treasure your gift. I accept and treasure your gift. Let us together always share our commitment. Let us together always share our commitment. Ira and Deanne, tonight you two have done many things. You have declared your intent to become husband and wife. You have made binding pledges and exchanged rings. You have enacted important rituals that symbolize a lifelong commitment to family, friends, and each other. Deanne and Ira, may your bond of love be as difficult to break as it would be to put together the pieces of this glass. I now pronounce you man and wife. And you may keep kissing the bride. <laughs> I think that's it. That's it? Yes, we'll be in recess.